Elon Musk's going to be in the history books for a variety of reasons. One of them is going to be his private space company, SpaceX. The company's rocket, the Falcon 9, made a successful vertical landing in Cape Canaveral on Monday. Impressive photos there and video. Joining us now to break it all down, Dan Costa. He's the editor-in-chief at PCMag.com. So, so, Dan, can you give us some more details, some more of the story about the Falcon 9 rocket and what it accomplished yesterday? It was a big, big deal, especially in, in, in the world of private space travel. Yeah, the Falcon 9, it's really a tremendous accomplishment, um, if only because there have been so many failures in the past. We've seen visual, we had dramatic images of the Falcon 9 failing to land uh, late last year, um, and it was heartbreaking to see it miss the platform and slide into the sea. Now you've got the perfect landing that Elon Musk and SpaceX have been looking for, and it really has the potential to transform the way we get to space, the way we put things into space, because the economics of it just so radically change. I mean, speaking of economics, it's all about, the, the, this is so impressive because it is a privately funded enterprise that we're talking about here. But this isn't the first time, Dan, a rocket has landed successfully. In November, we saw Jeff Bezos' private company, you know, his space company, Blue Origin, land vertically for his rocket as well. So what's the difference between that and the SpaceX landing that we just saw? Yeah, well, they're, they're both tremendous accomplishments. And last night, Jeff Bezos uh, tweeted out to Elon Musk saying, welcome to the club, um, indicating that his company had already done it first. And it's true that they had, but I mean, there's some important differences in the technologies involved. Uh, the Blue Origins project was a, uh, didn't reach orbit. It was a suborbital or, orbital landing. And uh, the SpaceX project, the Falcon 9, actually did reach low Earth orbit and return to Earth. So the technologies are a little bit different, but you know, fundamentally, they're both going after the same thing, which is to build a reusable first stage rocket ship that, uh, that they can use over and over again and really drive the cost down to put things up into space. Well, like you said, they're both going after the same thing, Blue Origin and SpaceX. So let's talk about a comparative winner here, the real one. Elon think, Musk, Jeff Bezos, who is it, what do you think and why? I think it's, it's too early to tell who's going to actually sustain this business and there's plenty of room for multiple competitors to tell you the truth. I mean now that there's, you know, these are two of the biggest players in the market and uh, you think about the costs, I mean the average cost of a, of a first stage rocket is 60 to 90 million dollars. That's been uh, basically the cost of a small 740, of a 747 jet and then just parking it and throwing it away after you take one flight. So by making these reusable rockets, I think there's plenty of room for both these companies to do really well. All right, so let's talk about that. What does the future look like? Are these companies, the American ones anyway, paving the way towards space travel on a more regular basis in the future? Yeah, I think you need to throw in Virgin Galactic, which is sort of trying to provide a space-based tourism program, not so much focused on payloads. But if you look at SpaceX and, and, and Blue Origin, they're, they're advancing and advancing the technology so much faster than any of the other space agencies that are out there, certainly faster than NASA. Uh, they're, they're competitive when it comes to the USSR. So they're, they are at the front of this market. And they've really got the potential to open up whole new markets here and put things into space that we've just never been able to afford to do before. I mean, for, the one thing is for certain, for sure, watching all of these great photos and videos is that it's certainly capturing the imagination of so many folks out there, Dan. Thank you so much for joining us and giving your thoughts on the space program, SpaceX, of course, Elon Musk, and Blue Origin with Jeff Bezos. And thanks for watching. I'm Dominic Chu. Have a great day. Hey, YouTube fans. I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.